competition, but was in the BCL. It was a huge win in the context of their group. That's uh, Ludwigsburg in Germany back on November 7th. Here we go then, game one in a best of three series between Cholet of France and Sassari of Italy. And it's, uh, Sardinians with the first attack, what a play that was, super pass for Tyree. A little shame he didn't finish that one off. It's, uh, no luck at the second time of asking either. For Vasilis Shalalampopoulos. Campbell dancing it in. Neil Sacco and Lucky. They get a second chance as well. But surely they're able to get the first basket. Sassari, third in Group D in the regular season. Two wins, four losses. They beat King Stechen of Poland at home on the final day needed to win by nine points or more and for Ludwigsburg to defeat uh, group winners Ajax of Greece. That's what happens. Society winning by 16. Ludwigsburg uh, winning by four. Stechen going out. That's a good take from Sacco. He was uh, swallowed up. First foul of the game. First points of the game go to Cholet. TJ Campbell up and running for the night. And he starts with a three pointer as well. Getting tight there to the number 30 for Sassari, Brandon Jefferson. Returning to Europe from China in the last uh, few days, really. He was left open and uh, showed what he can do. He's playing with uh, Chan Jin, the Texan, though, who's uh, French basketball very well. Played with Orléans, Strasbourg and Paul between 2018 and 2022. Sacco blocked. Good defensive work there from uh, Stefan Gumbo. Jefferson had a year with uh, Trapani in Italy back in uh, 2017 as well. Pass doesn't get through to him. Gets one from uh, Gombo in the end. Sassari trailing by one. That is a super play. Get out. Aye, aye. Handling error from him. Three on one break. AAE goes up. And that is uh, great work against the odds from Vasilis Chalalampopoulos. Super play from the Greek. A 
superb pass through Tyree Magombo. Wow. Cheers as uh, they get the basket here, surely. It was uh, Sacco who was fouled in the act of shooting. Campbell with a superb pass through again. Great play between those two. No look pass, easy finish. Six foot eleven, Neil Sacco. Chance to add one. Unable to do so. Tyree for Jefferson. Three and Tyree for three. Almost a big response from Shirley. Still, really good work and good teamwork as well. AAE setting up uh, Randall this time. Back on December 20th, Cesari winning 97-81 against Stechin. Tyree was a star of the show then. Back-to-back -back threes from him. Sari in front for the first time. Uh, 26.6 assists, three rebounds, a steal, and a block against Stechin. Sloppy from Campbell. Maximum punishment. Dealing in threes at the moment, Sasari. That was a good one. Bit of crushing. Vicious. Cesari. They're going very well all of a sudden, but Tyree, a little fortunate there. Ran into trouble. Foot block allows uh, Cesari to go again. Changes Campbell going off. Jefferson, 15 points at the weekend. Two shots to come here for Dinamo Sassari. It was uh, Chalalampopoulos who was fouled. Nine and two run for the visitors here and uh, a chance. To increase their advantage, Jefferson with the uh, pass off. Driving at the basket was uh, Chalalampopoulos, standing in his way. Ayayi. Bridging nine points and four rebounds per game in uh, this season's BCL. Chalalampopoulos gets his first point for Buki's team tonight. very well against uh, Stechin as well 14 points seven rebounds it is now a six-point lead for Sassari no way 
through there, but a uh, bit too much contact for the officials' liking, so surely get the decision. Tough three. It's, uh, the shot missed in the end by Craig Randall, the second. Tyree Jefferson. That's a good pass out to the corner. And it's, uh, Krushlin trying to get it a little closer. Another foot block. Sardinians will reset. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Free man is Tyree. Oh, that's good. Brandon Jefferson on his return to the BCL. Having a good night so far. in the end much needed points for Scholle coming from uh, Tijan Solon <laughs> 11 points without reply for Cesari until that Welcome and timely basket for the home team. Jefferson. Last played in the BCL in the 2020-21 season with Strasbourg. Averaged uh, 15 points then. Turnover gives uh, Scholle a chance here. Insequesi doing battle for the first time tonight with uh, Stefan Gumbo, who uh, has got through seven and a half minutes on court. It's being withdrawn after this foul. So it would be uh, a very good challenge to take on uh, big number 15 for Cholet tonight. And that time it was Usman Diop was guarding him, no points for Cholet. Tyree with uh, two three-pointers already, the number five. They have uh, four from five attempts overall, Sasari. And it's going to be Tyree again. A hat-trick of three-pointers for him in this first quarter. Uh, a big couple of minutes here, but that is uh, not going to help. Until his pass does not find a teammate. <laughs> the uh, 26 in 10 days' time will he be uh, celebrating the play in series victory. The game's coming uh, pretty quick for these two in January. Pass, Gentile finding Usman Diop. Game two of this series is uh, this day week, January 10th in uh, Cesari. The decider is required. It will be in France at this venue on Wednesday, January 17th. Thrilled with what he's seeing. Piero Buki as Usman Diop. Just to add to his team.
team's tally. Two free throws for him. Look at that, a 12 point lead for Sassari in this first quarter. Showing up well, four assists and five points. And there is Diop. Nathan <laughs> D'Souza. It's intercepted. Jefferson is uh, pointing the other way, but surely Retain possession, 10 seconds on the shot clock, 42 seconds left in this first quarter. The French side. Yeah, serious work to do here. Oh, that has uh, landed. Wojtek Ruben. The first man to 1,000 points in the Basketball Champions League. He announces his arrival at the three. D'Souza, finger roll, good basket, good little run for Scholle at the end of the first. McKinney missed a three just before that and uh, a five point run for Scholle makes them feel a little bit better about things but they'll be uh, disappointed they led seven points to four after that Cesari took over they lead by nine at the end of the first we highlighted that Scholle have the uh, worst defence three-point range in the BCL. We've seen that again tonight. Open shots for Sassari. They've hit five from seven from three-point range. And it's Tyree who leads the way in the game with nine points so far. Second quarter about to start. Well, in the uh, Basketball Champions League power rankings, surely were 12th, Sassari 22nd at the end of the regular season. Sassari uh, showing their talent tonight. The Italians leading by nine. Surely looking for the first basket of the second quarter. It was uh, good defensive work on Kim Tilly that time, the number 14. So far, a couple of blocks in the first quarter from Sassari. Almost uh, a, bit of a defensive scramble to deny Alfonso McKinney, but he was fouled as he went up.
first attempt. That's a point in the end. Souza. Oh, he was in a really tight spot there with uh, time against him as well. It's, uh, largely the bench players that are out there for uh, both teams start of this uh, second quarter. Von Souza with uh, two points and an assist so far. There's a good three. Manuel Insequesi gets his first points. And a steal. DJ Campbell denied, but goaltending is the call. points go to the six turnovers now you see the uh, goal pending decision again you can't block a shot if it's on its way down you can't go up through the net it's not one either if you do so combo did there points will be awarded in this case to uh, tj campbell so 10 points to one is uh, the latest run for Cholet. they have recovered Souza at pace. 20 year old bursting through there, drawing a foul as well. Alessandro Capaletti. Not best pleased. International he came through the uh, youth ranks at Cholet. It's his own rebound. He does not get any points after all of that. But really good work under the glass from Insequesi. Netherlands International making his presence felt. Foot eight, really powerful player. Moved to Texas as a teenager. Went to uh, college in Oklahoma with uh, Oral Roberts. Since then, he's played in the Netherlands, in Belgium. And into his uh, second season in France, his first with Cholet. points per game, 4.2 rebounds, 1.3 assists in the BCL. Now he's got four points for the night. It was a 14-point lead for Sassari late in the first quarter. That has been uh, cut down to four. Firing it back outside. McKinney makes the three just in time. <laughs> Capaletti picking up a second foul pretty quickly in this quarter. Third for Sassari, the Italian champions in 2015. The FIBA Europe Cup in 2019. D'Souza left that one behind him. Uh, he doesn't agree with the officials here. A reminder, you can check the uh, tough calls section of the uh, Basketball Champions League website. A new article every week. Explaining uh, some of the more controversial, more unusual decisions that had to be made. Play. Good pass from Tilly. Ruben can't get 
second triple. Capaletti. Lampopoulos makes a three. Shole's good work undone in uh, two blows there from McKinney and then Shana Popolos. D'Souza. Uh, Ruben, the big check. Again, unable to add to the three points he's got so far. That is uh, brilliant until the finish. Campbell. Messi couldn't tip it home on the rebound. Still only managed six points in this second quarter. Cholet. It's almost another big blow to their chances. out, Capaletti drawing a foul from Campbell, he just missed a, a three-point shot a few seconds before that. From McKinney, great fast break, Lampopoulos sending it up top. Surely getting away with one there. Points on offer though for Alessandro Capaletti. Eight-year-old gets his first point of the night. But not his second. official deciding there was a foul decision goes Sabuki's way Cesari back in control it seems Capaletti and holding on tightly there was uh, Neil Sacco per game in this season's BCL. Back for another American, Campbell. Tilly. Defensive foul by TJ Campbell off the ball. at first points the veteran He's lying up a basket there so about midway through the uh, second Sari in control and in possession right now it's great passing play again Diop there to finish Senegal. 12 assists for Cesari. The foul this time. But Brandon Jefferson, a little high there as well. As he made contact with Campbell. So both teams with the four fouls in this second quarter. And uh, Having got a good rest. Number five, Tyree is back in, replacing the number 22, Gentile. Ruban. 
again. It's the third one he's missed in this second quarter. Just three trebles from 11 attempts now for Cholet. Jefferson lands another three. And it's the eighth of the night for Dinamo Cesari. It's also their biggest lead at 16. Look at this. What a finish. No waiting about there. Alfonso McKinney bursting through. One handed. That's the way to do it. Good. That is uh, very good from Craig Randall. Only the second from beyond the arc that uh, Chole have had in this second quarter. Randall. Look, another uh, shot from range. Souza missing this one. Foul on McKinney. experience at this stage a couple of hundred games in the NBA for the likes of uh, Toronto Golden State Cleveland the LA Lakers Chicago and this is uh, first season it's a sorry signed on the line first he gets, uh, one more point there to uh, seven for the evening McKinney that's another good three from Randall he got 16 points at home against Le Mans in a huge win 100 keeping uh, Cholet the game right now. Cesari lost by 11 against uh, Italian league leaders Venezia on Saturday. Third bottom. Five wins, nine defeats domestically. It's going well in the BCL in the uh, play in series. Game one against Cholet in France. They lead by 13. Looking to extend that advantage and they have worked it wonderfully well. Sharon Apopoulos looked to be tied up, he somehow got it to Tyree and he got it to McKinney. Another three-pointer missed. Band. He's got uh, two of them so far tonight, two points as well for Cesari's number 26. That's only fouled uh, Sacco. points, 7.8 rebounds and one assist per game in the BCL this season. Two points, two rebounds, one assist so far tonight in nine minutes on the floor. Imposed himself. The second free throw and so they needed to improve on that front. Two from seven from their foul shots tonight. Cholet 
Jefferson. Off target with that one. Oh, through traffic. And shooting through Craig Randall. See this again, it was Shara Lampopoulos, a big collision then. Between, uh, two Cholet players. Randall in no time at all, picked up uh, three, big threes in this second quarter. Susan was flattened. Randall learning himself as well. Charalan Popolus. Sassari, the fourth Italian club that he's played for. East International. Playing well tonight. Of offensive rebounds and assist under block. He's got uh, a few points as well. Seven for the evening. The lead back at 13. Two minutes to go before the interval. Kuban. Risky pass, he was under serious pressure. Veteran check. Able to find a white shirt. The Islanders doing very well on their travels here. Charlotte Lampopoulos. Couldn't hold on, the fast break is uh, happening pretty quickly and it's finished off nicely. Solo. The uh, finishing touch. Jefferson, McKinney, Charalampopoulos, good three. Pointers now for Cesari, six for Chole. Solon, the step back. Tyree, the handoff for McKinney. And the can finish. Seconds on the shot clock here. Need to get a shot away. Tyree realizes that the clock is running down. Nine points for him in the first quarter. Hasn't played much in the second. He was fouled while taking on the shot. Real frustration for Chole here. side of Stenda. This is the first of three foul shots here. And this is 
seconds. His old team playing Hapoel Holon in Hungary at the moment in the uh, play-in series. Tyree leading his current team to an 18-point lead. This side have been performing well a lot this season, but not over the whole course of a game. Can they put it together to get themselves uh, one up in this uh, best of three series, the play-in series of the Basketball Champions League? These two sides fighting it out for a spot in the round of 16. That came off the foot of Tyree. So uh, he gets a bit lucky at the start of the third. Going back over a few seasons, that will help. And it is uh, two points to Stefan Gumbo. So a 20 point lead for Dinamo Sassari. And that is uh, their biggest of the night so far. The awards have been handed out in uh, recent days. Levi Randolph named MVP for December, leading uh, Hapoel Jerusalem to uh, five wins and one defeat in the uh, regular season group stage. Shabaka, Ostenda, Nitas Vilnius and Galatasaray represented as well in the team of the month. As, uh, Manuel uh, Insequesi gets two back for Chole. Chance to make it a three point play as well. Can't do so. And missed a few free throws, five in total. Out of seven attempts in the first half, Cholet, the French side in white under pressure again. Jefferson looking to get into double figures. Great first half showing from him. He almost got a steal. And uh, Salon almost got two points for Cholet in the end. Four wins and two defeats in the last six home games in the BCL for Cholet. Lost the most recent one, 91-85 against Lenovo Tenerife. It's a quite starting the third quarter strongly. Cholet leading at halftime in each of their last three home games in the BCL. Having to come from a long way back tonight. But another little moment goes their way. Surely beat Riga by a point, Rushafaka by 11 at home regular season group stage before that six-point defeat against 2022 champions Tenerife. It's Tyree. Cesari, apart from their uh, impressive win against Ludwigsburg on the road, lost by eight in their group stage opener in Poland against King Stechin. 31 against Ajax in Greece on December 5th. Tyree got himself free. Able to get himself up to uh, 13 points for the night. That's a forceful pass from Tilly. Too strong for Ensequesi.
Ferguson for Usman Diop. Six points, two assists for him so far in the game. Tyree into the paint. Diop hanging on, the up and under does not bring the basket. Tilly for Campbell. Sequesi back outside. Ayayi makes the three. He's shooting at 43% from beyond the perimeter in this season's BCL. He hasn't made uh, too many points so far this evening. First triple, 15 point game. He has uh, five points for the night. Jefferson into the corner. Knocked down by Krushlin. Another attack goes to waste. Every time that Chole have uh, got back into it, got the crowd going. Sassari able to respond. A lot of confidence in the South Indians. Sharalan Popolos, a dangerous man to leave. With a good look at the basket. And he has 13 points tonight. Correction 12, that was worth just uh, two rather than three. coached by Laurent Villa. We have uh, let Cesari into uh, a strong looking lead again. What a pick up Brandon Jefferson has been. The performance it has been from the number 30 so far. The number 33 has been pretty good too. Charalan Popolis causing uh, all sorts of problems. Very young players out there for uh, Cholet, including uh, Salon, the 18-year-old. And they are uh, learning a lot, no doubt, this evening about what it's like to perform at the top level when it matters. Cholet, though. Dogs in their group, second in their group behind Tenerife. They saw off uh, Antwerp, Varese, Rindisi in qualifying. They've had some really tough encounters to get this far. Don't give up. Two more points for Sharalan Popolos. 20 points advantage again. Sassari. Campbell. It's two assists so far for him. He's looking for a big three here. Sorry, just uh, 16 for Chole. Sharon Popolis, 14 points, two rebounds, one assist, drawing a foul this time from Campbell. And it's a third foul against the name of TJ Campbell. So, uh, for his own good, he's uh, being withdrawn. Tyree, the pass away to Krushlin, Charalampopoulos, 
What a night he is having. Seventeen points. That was his uh, third three-pointer. Ruben, four seconds on the clock here. Look at that pressure, Ruben. All that experience. to the four. Jefferson, the go-to man for Cesari is uh, Chalalampopoulos. Good pass from him. Almost a great grab on the rebound. Shot was missed by Diop. That shot missed by uh, Salon. through traffic and uh, rejected by Ruban. support and a few home players as well. Diop went up. Salon got in his way and picks up his third foul. The youngster averaging 13 points per game. Only four points so far for him tonight. Diop meanwhile up to seven. Diop pushes the lead out to 22 points. Enzo Dudu Sina, no points for him tonight. He missed the three point shot, proving off the rim. Discussion between the officials here. There might be a coaching challenge, there is, from Piero Bucchi of Sassari. Why not? Time to remind you, you can. Uh, Sign up to the Basketball Champions League Fantasy League. You can follow the BCL on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and several other places at uh, Basketball CL. You can read up on the uh, Tough Calls section of the website. Okay, the okay listen to me. Rankings as well. Okay, so we need this last out of bounds because we have head coach challenge to check the decision. Okay. Give me first the main camera, please. Okay, first decision is white. Can you go? Can you go again slow now? Slow. This the same angle but slow. Okay. Frame by frame. Wait. Give me the camera under the basket. Okay, go this one but slow. Okay, let's go. White touch the ball. So it's green ball. Get, get, give, me the, give me this one again just to check, okay? Slow. 
first row. Okay, green touch and then white and they change the direction of the ball. So we need to change it green ball, okay? Well, the official's mic'd up for the uh, challenge. He'll know by now that Sasali will uh, have possession here, which was the initial call. Credit to the official for getting that one right. And, uh, all that grumbling from the home crowd, well, they got a view of the replay. They uh, have to accept that this is the right call. Sasali averaging uh, close to 85 points per game in this season's BCL. They are... Uh, towards that kind of total again. Looking to add to 66 points they've got. Micheletti is back out there, the number zero. Gets it from Tyree. Diop looks off free for a second. And uh, they are having one of those nights, the Italians, where uh, pretty much every key shot is landing. Croatian Kruslin. That's another three-pointer. Scholle had a full week to prepare for this game. They have a clean bill of health as well. French some fouls for Scholle. Uh, 2.09 to go and uh, Salon, the teenager, having a tough night. Lots of experience in this uh, Cesare lineup, including 34 year old Philip Gruslin, Croatian League and Cup winner in the past. Man from Zagreb gets uh, another two points. The deficit 27 now. There's a slip and another one from each side. Nice little feint. Randall can't get the three. He was uh, very effective in the second quarter, not so. In the third, but that's good. Enzo Gudosina finally gets his first points of the night. Capaletti, the pass in for Diop, who uh, was fouled as he thought about going up for two more. Per game over three rebounds per game for uh, Usman Diop. He is uh, the second top scorer on average for uh, Cesari in this season's BCL. Didn't have his best night in that key win over uh, Stechin. Tyree was the hero then. And Kruslin has been very good in this third quarter. And the up. Going well. Ten points for him now. Six of them from six successful free throw attempts. Not a pass for Ruban. He was fouled. to the total. Kintili watching on. Ruban, man from Prague, 34 years of age. It's two from two that time. Capaletti 
goes back. Just over a minute to play in the third. 24 point advantage for Sassari. The up. A bit fortunate there, held by uh, De Souza. Kruslin. Hey, hey, time was of the essence. So that's true now for Randall and his team in general. <laughs> McKinney was challenging for that one, but it is uh, Scholle who have it. Good seal on Randall. Capaletti for the up. And he was fouled. It was Neil Sacco who went up with the number 25. And it was very clever play from uh, the big man in green. And Sacco just uh, couldn't get going tonight. Three points, five rebounds, one assist. Four fouls, though. He had uh, 36 points in his last two BCL games. Over nine rebounds in his uh, two most recent home matches, but not the same influence tonight. And Diop finally misses one. Stripped of possession, here goes McKinney. And Ruben, uh, well, a smile on his face. Well, it's not one of uh, happiness right now, it's uh, more like, oh, you can't be serious. Another call going against us. It is uh, one of those nights for Shole. McKinney. experienced campaigner, the man from Chicago, 18.3 on the clock in the third, he has uh, two more foul shots to come. 25 free throws tonight for Dinamo Sassari, successful with 20 so far. McKinney this time, 26 point lead for Sassari. Ruban, fouled. And they do get uh, two shots, rolls reversed that time as Ruben was fouled by McKinney. Ruban, 996 BCL points with Nimburg, and then he got five in the win over Riga in October to take him over a thousand. A record breaker, a trendsetter. 
first player in the BCL to uh, surpass a thousand points. It's two on this visit. It's, uh, 24 points to find from somewhere for Shole. Ruban has uh, 10 points on the night now. That's uh, story of the night. Surely have something go for them. Ah! De Souza fouls uh, Capaletti and Cesari straight away have a chance to silence the crowd again. Uh, 62 points against Venezia on Saturday in the Italian League for Cesari on home court. 77 and counting at the end of the third in France tonight. Gruslin and Diop. Cholet with an impossible task ahead of them. They're in possession to Sina. Seeking options, and that is a lovely basket for Ruban. Well, foul called against uh, Guru Sina there. Diop trying something uh, a bit special. Charanampopoulos <laughs> protesting his innocence there. It's oh, a nice basket. Really good work from uh, Guru Sina. 25 years of age. Guys, let's go. Usman, if you play pop here, because they play blue, and you can't catch the ball here. Okay? Guys, let's go, eh? Guys, read 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 let's go, 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 let's go. A reminder, this is the play-in series. The teams have finished second and third in the regular season groups. They are uh, looking to join the group winners in the round of 16. So fast course, uh, big winners against Pauk yesterday. Ludwigsburg, big winners against Terusha Faka. Six games this evening. Peristeri winning away against Ritas Vilnius. Karsiaka winning by four against Breogan. Long up against Sostende. Le Mans against... Uh, Mithias Patras and Tortona against Galatasaray. The other games underway at the moment elsewhere around Europe. Gurusina, the former Nancy player, just gets the two points. This is the free throw. Stefano Gentile out there, running 22 for Cesari. Islanders not having to do a whole lot in this final quarter. Don't want to slacken off too much though. Gentile rolling it in for Diop. He gets the basket. One of the 
reason Sasari made it this far. They were trailing by 27 points in Poland against King Szczecin on game day one of the regular season. But they only lost by eight, their BCL experience showing in the end. Ziolt is gaining plenty of experience uh, over the last couple of years. He's uh, showing his full set of talents today. 13 points, three rebounds, two assists. Chile now with uh, three assists for the visiting team. Overcooked by De Souza. Cavaletti loses out. Enzo good steal, good layup from Enzo Gudusina. Terry. Cavaletti for Charlampopoulos. Cavaletti gets help from Diop. And then uh, stumbled at the wrong moments. Excellent work from Gunusina for France Youth International. Ruban, really good play. Just a contact injury for uh, Insequesi. What happened here? Clash of knees? Maybe not. Here. We don't want an injury at any time, but. Especially during a uh, key stage of the season. Insequesi hobbling off. intended target and that man Brandon Jefferson a really good triple on the verge of a double double now a miss from Randall when well, it should have been two points Jefferson has returned to the BCL this game 11 points nine assists 23 minutes on court. Gentile. Good block from Sacco. Good dummy from D'Souza. Huge three from Randall. Popolus. Too much on that one. The man who's got 17 points. Sarri's 
experience is showing today. them. Game two to come next week in Italy. Surely based in the uh, west of France, 350 kilometers or so southwest of Paris. I'll have to make uh, the trip. Sari, second largest uh, city in Sardinia, the Islanders. They will be uh, feeling very confident after tonight's display. Assuming there's not a complete collapse here in the final five minutes. Souza back outside. It's, uh, shot fired off pretty quickly from uh, Guru Sina. No reward. Jefferson. Beautiful pass. Diop. Shannon and Populus. What a play from Cesari. play his first of the night to go with uh, four points three rebounds 11 minutes on court oh, that is a really great play from Shirley not enough of it on the night but uh, still a crowd pleaser from Sacco this for uh, Laurent Villa, the man who led surely to the uh, Europe Cup final last season. Season 8 of the Basketball Champions League, it is uh, Sassari very much on top in France. Game 1 of this uh, best of three play-in series between these two. Tyree, nine points in the first quarter, only two since then, but and had to uh, overextend himself, the number five. Gumbo! Catch and dunk. of work again from Cesari. Plenty of that tonight. Gentile. Bounces back for Tyree. Trying to find some room out there. Gentile goes again. Same result. Points for him tonight. And this from Salon this time. What a difference he's made, Brandon Jefferson. 
He is uh, going to be celebrating a double-double at the end of this one. 11 points, 10 assists now. Gentile, he'll have to go here, take on a tough shot, which he misses. Sassari still have a 22-point lead. There is the confirmation, double-double for Brandon Jefferson. Recent signing, the 32-year-old, 15 points at the weekend in the league. And uh, one of the best players out there tonight for Sassari. He has got uh, three of their 13 three-pointers. 54% from three-point range, 51% from the field for uh, Cesari, 40% from the field for Scholle so far. And grumbles again from the home support. They've missed uh, too many of those, six from 14. That was the first that Randall's had tonight. Gets the second to move on to 15 points. No free throws for Sassari in the final quarter, but the damage well and truly done in the first three. 23 free throws they made from 29 attempts. Discipline not good enough for Scholle. Gentile. Now well, that was a long passing move that finished with the first basket of the night for Stefano Gentile. D'Souza. CJ Campbell. Yeah, yeah. Few of the big players for Chole just. Uh, not at their best tonight, but uh, there's another two points for Salon. Six points for him overall. Twenty-eight assists for Dinamo Sassari. It's been pleasing on the eye, as long as you're not a supporter of Scholle. in Turkey against Arusha Faka in the group stage, the regular season group that is, so still hope for the French team that they can uh, turn things around and uh, force game three by winning this day next week in uh, Sardinia. These two hoping to join Uni Kaha and Strasbourg in the round of 16 in uh, Group I. Uni Kaha and Strasbourg winning their regular season group, so skipping this stage. Tommaso Raspino is out there. Within uh, 20 seconds, he's uh, coughed up possession. D'Souza helps himself to two points. Souza. Four points so far. Could be five to go with uh, five assists and three rebounds. And it is. Into the final minute. Very much. The second string out there for Sassari. Yeah, that's a good basket for Raspino. Salon. Another missed attempt as Casper uh, Trier 
Got a little fortunate there, Capaletti. That's the uh, final attack for Sassari, leading by 20. It scored uh, 19 points to 13 in the final quarter. Schreier giving it away, one final attack for Scholle. Nice layup. Gerald Aye moves on to seven points for the night. Kruslin. Well, that says it all. He had all the time in the world, fair enough, but he still landed his uh, fourth three-pointer of the night. A very impressive showing from Sassari. Laurent Villa's home team well beaten. And they were always up against it once they started uh, trailing quite heavily in the first quarter. They were trailing the whole way from there. And in the end, it is uh, Piero Bucchi and the Italian Sassari who get a huge win on the road. Game one of the play-in series. And Sassari take it 93 points to 72. <laughs> So a job very well done from Dinamo Sassari. The job not done of course. Surely we'll have the chance to hit back, although they've given up home court advantage now because uh, Sassari will have uh, one chance at home to finish the series off. That's uh, this day next week. In Sardegna c'è un carnevale per ogni luogo. Dall'8 al 13 febbraio, Tempio Pausania si veste a festa per Luca Rasciali Timpiesu. Incontri straordinari, carri allegorici e sfilate fino al fuoco purificatore del martedì grasso. Vivi la magia dei sei giorni di festa. Scopri la bellezza del Carnevale di Tempio.